hi and welcome to the channel and, and the shack. I've just clocked off work uh, a little bit earlier than normal and I thought I would go on the radio and I just thought I'd share this with you. I've just turned on and been presented with this. That is 80 metres wall to wall noise. Um, <laughs> and it's across all the bands and I'll show you in a second. Um, you can see if I focus back down on the rig you see this um, jagged sawtooth pattern on the uh, waterfall display well if I go to 20 meters look at that and s9 plus of noise s9 plus 10 db uh, that band would be very very quiet it's not showing so much on the display on the top but you can see it here 15 meters there it is again s7 of noise 10 meters sawtooth pattern s9 of noise again that would be really low but i'm guessing s1 and 2 and 6 meters You could cut wood with that how bad is that so it's everywhere what do you know oh, top band uh, oh, top band doesn't look too bad but what do you do when you're presented with that um, well it's it's everywhere regulars to the channel um, will know I've successfully tracked down uh, RFI before um it looks like i've got another task on my hand uh this could be anywhere um, so we need to eliminate some things but that as you can see at the top is truly horrific so wish me luck and um well yeah we'll start with that wish me luck so my first port of call last week i swapped out some 50 watt halogen lamps for these led models um there's three downstairs now I've used these before around the house and they've been fine so first of all I'll do a on-off test uh, with these so I left the trace running while I did a few on-off tests of the ceiling LEDs and you can see there's no difference there no breaks in the interference so um, search continues well I don't believe I've been this lucky Welcome to the wife's office upstairs. We're both home working at the moment. Welcome to the lamp that we bought a year ago, I think, and it came with a bulb. Now I'll just turn it off. Oops. I'm getting an off switch. Now watch this when I go back downstairs. Goodbye, lamp. Well, look at that. Uh, I genuinely don't believe I'm that lucky. How amazing is that? A bulb, one bulb. We shall go and investigate in a second when it cools off. So here's the display on the rig. If I go to, there's a bit of interference there. I think that's the usual interference I get. S three four noise 15 meters drop right down and 10 meters yep six meters so you can see i've got some spikes they're always there but a bit of a crack i don't know what that was there's 20 meters again but look at that, 80 metres, there goes the interference off the top. So, now to have a look at the bulb. Right, back upstairs. There's the bulb. I might have to, uh, I'll put the phone down to get it out. So here we go, fairly basic looking LED bulb. 
Let's have a look. I don't think there's a manufacturer's make on that, is there? Doesn't look like it. So. In the bin, replace it, and uh, yeah, that was how close was that? That was a, a near miss. If this bulb had been next door or down the road, would I have got such bad interference? Um, the antennas are outside, so this little bulb, which is a good um, 15 20 meters from the antenna, um, yeah, anyway, bin. New bulb. And as a bit of a poor script before I binned the bulb, I thought I'd try out my mains filter just to see whether the interference was airborne or through the mains wiring, and it confirmed that it was airborne. I'll put a link in the description below to take you to the video that shows the build of the mains filter. Uh, also, uh, at the end, you will see a link to my previous uh, RFI experience and how I tracked that down. If you enjoyed the video, you might like the rest of the channel, please consider subscribing, uh, Best73.